Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of The Desk. This is episode 165, my platform to rant, raid, bitch, and bemoan all things that encompass OCW and its multiplicative amount of subsidiaries, listener, and viewer discretion may sometimes, but for this episode, probably will be advised. This podcast is brought to you by House of Hoot because I need money from Amazon links. Go to houseofhoot.com for, for more information. Don't, don't laugh. I have guests today. Uh, so let's be clear, concise, and transparent. Before I introduce the guest, um, just a quick note. Actually, no, I might as well introduce the guest first because it's like uh, doing a whole community mailbag thing. So might as well get it in. So the first guest is uh, none other than the voice of OCW, the biggest sellout, <laughs> the biggest hypocrite, the worst per the, the person you can't B, trust. Elite. B, B, elite. <laughs> The number B, one commentator. B, B, elite. Jake Nicole Allen. Hi. Hey, everybody. It's me. I'm everywhere. You're tired of hearing me. It's yeah, me. I'm tired of hearing your fucking middle manager voice. And yeah, my next, and both, my next guest is uh, um, basically, he goes by many names. Once upon a time, he was Hairline. And then he and then, oh. and then he was Dane Xavier. No, he was hairline for I don't know the and right now you know him as, as Udon Noodles, aka Udon Klein. So I'm probably just gonna fucking call you probably just I don't know. I just call you Dane. I, I think I think we're gonna call him Dane. I Fuck think it. that's exciting. Call him Dane, even though his everybody else does, so that works. Daniel Xavier. His his his, his government name is Rudo's government name, so I ain't trying to fucking confuse all my government names. So yeah. <laughs> so oh boy. So community mailbag first. First and foremost, as I was talking about uh, in the Discord, I want to send a thank you for everybody who's actually helping with the SEO stuff, uh, activating on Twitter, liking, retweeting, liking YouTube stuff. It's helping little by little. We're, we're slowly getting there, and I, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to the new patrons. I think Warren's one of them, so shout out to Warren. If there's other new patrons, um, sorry, I forgot who it was because I don't check it often because I'm a horrible patron person. Um, shout out to Ricky, who finally came back after a long holiday, like really long, so I'm glad to see Ricky out and about just being a dick to people because i kind of missed that fucking ricky so shout out to him um so yeah back to the topic at hand uh community mailbag essentially thinking about things uh and i did just been tossed around in my head and in staff is basically i want to kind of go back to the way the traditional wwe used to do it matter of fact aew actually brought it up as well but uh i kind of want to do the big four like have four uh, big pay-per-views a year and uh you know in between that we kind of sprinkle in the, the current pay-per-views that we have now but instead of them being full pay-per-views they'll be like you know uh five to six man shows want to moving forward we also want to do four to five match cards just because you know there's multiple factors but let me just toss it over to jake real quick because jake is actually now the interim which probably will mean full-time turmoil booker and as you learned it is incredibly arduous task to book and i will say without even kissing your ass because you know i don't do that at all um you, you're not doing a bad job at all i'm actually pretty fucking like you know better than me my booking is terrible so yeah uh, i'm great we we get it jay <laughs> okay thanks go ahead you want to you want to uh you know. yeah so 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 my my comments to you about the whole uh big four deal uh we had a dis it wasn't really a discussion it was a small talk about it the way that I see OCW now, I think you guys are overreacting to the current summer schedule in that we have uh, Mugen's Beach Party, we have Consequence, we have Savage Saturday, and we have Summerside all in the span of six weeks. Uh, if you look at the grand scheme of things, we do operate like Ruthless Aggression slash Attitude Era WWE, which is kind of, in my opinion, the optimal way to run things, which is four shows uh you know four tuesday shows four friday shows and then a pay-per-view or even you guys like which we're probably going to do for consequence is going to be three three one super show and then the pay-per-view which is fine by me that's that's awesome um but i think you're kind of going over the boat here with this this particular uh month that we're in uh if you look back we had the big the big four to me is anniversary which is the big kickoff to the season that happens in november and then our second one is The Clash. That's kind of like the midway point between anniversary and resolution. It's it's sort of our, um, 
it's you know when you look at the wwe schedule it's sort of our SummerSlam. i know obviously the easy comparison would be summer side for SummerSlam, but that's kind of our end so uh you have anniversary which is like our royal rumble it's like the kickoff to the year you have SummerSlam, which is like the middle point between the two i know R- wrestlemania comes after that but uh, I, I get the i get the analogy yeah yeah right right and then next is the biggest show of the year it's resolution of course and then to, to end the season is Summerside. so that's the big four it's anniversary clash which is the longest running ocw pay-per-view in history even more than resolution as you've said many times resolution which is the biggest show of the year and then Summerside to to cap off the season uh if you look at this year in particular uh last year to a lesser extent but this year in particular we have been running on the format that you want and i do think i've told you in private i'll tell you now on the podcast that you're kind of weighing what we're doing now a little bit too heavily into what you expect it to become and that's not how it's going to be it's going to continue to be four weeks of shows big pay-per-view four weeks of shows big pay-per-view now if you want to lower it because you you didn't tell me this before right now if you want to lower this to a five to six uh, match pay-per-view that's a little bit smaller now we're talking uh saint valentine's day massacre now we're talking bad blood we're talking like the smaller pay-per-view so now that that's a totally different discussion but um i do like your idea to format it in a way that is structured so that you things don't surprise you so that, like months like july and uh, august don't sneak up on you and attack you and, and put so much on on the staff shoulders i i'm totally on board with you there but uh, I want to, you know, remain calm at this point. I don't, I, I'm cool with structuring things for season 15 and going forward, but uh, I think this is a, this is an exception to the rule. This upcoming schedule we have. All right, so I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> Go so, fuck yourself and go right ahead. This right. is your plan. Uh, okay, thank you for just fucking no. Actually, um, yeah, I'll take that into consideration. And by that, I mean that's that's me trying to process all the shit that you just said because it does it does make sense. But I guess what it is is we'll we'll just I don't know we'll see what happens because what generally is is, is once we start it, it's kind of hectic and then remember it's Devil's Night and then it's a, a, sli- a weird br- like a two week break that Jamie was fucking kerf- huffing and puffing about then we come back like the middle of January usually used to be the first of January but I, I, that's stupid and then we and then we have the January the clash gets rushed in, and then we have to rush in for Road to Glory and it, because of that I had to kind of push Road to I'm not I'm sorry uh, Certified Greatness I had to kind of push that back at one point Certified Great- Greatness was actually a November pay-per-view so just to show you how, how things get shuffled around and then you know it's just i don't know it just feels like sometimes we'll go from you know it'll go from four weeks or five weeks and then the pay-per-view and then three weeks it's in the pay-per-view and it just it just feels weird and then i like to have that week off to do everything but then sometimes it feels like there's not enough you know i have to do a show that week which is irritating i don't want to do it but sometimes i have to and it's like so it's about trying to structure i mean for the most part we're kind of we're doing all right. Last time this year, I was already, you know, sh- fucking making noises in my in my head. So that's good. Uh, the second thing before we get to the topic at hand or the main issue, for, uh, the main reason for the podcast is that we're doing a little prep work for uh, for the end of the season and for the beginning of the next season. So in addition, if you noticed on the Discord, on the forums and the advice section, there's uh, a thing regarding the top 50 moments in OCW. And so far, you guys have come up with about for season, uh, we're in season 14 or 15. I don't even remember. Is it 14? 14. 14. 14. So I was like, yep. yeah, the top the top 50 moments for season uh, 14. 14. We got about <laughs> 20, 27-ish so far. And I think people just kind of stopped because you know how they always do that shit. Uh, and shout it's out to... to, 50, to no, we, 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 no we, we were getting pretty close. We're getting like, they were just pouring in. So Cass... And the thing is, we're not done with the season. I just wanted to get a head start on it because what happens is the further you go into the season, the less people remember. They only remember the last month or the last two months. Hey, let's do the awards. All right, I want this guy to win everything. But he he only got here in fucking in, uh, June. So, right. so, yeah. So what I wanted to do is – actually, not what I wanted to do, but what Cass, Cass made a really good point. He said that we should stick it to 25. So I like that. So, I mean, keep the ideas coming and I'll make the list. It doesn't matter how big that list gets. And then what we can do as a, as a group, as a community, 
we can, you know, uh, boil that down to 25. And then after that, that's when I go and ask Jake to do things and make him uncomfortable so that I can myself become uncomfortable and then we can provide something for you guys at the end of the season. On top of that, at the end of the season, we'll also be doing the tier list. We have a new format for it and I'll be picking the... the uh, the committee for the tier list like last time and hopefully it's a nice big old fun thing who the fuck knows in addition to that there's there will also be the considerations for the uh awards so here's the thing with the awards if we get it early if we get the stuff early as the season's ending then it's less of a ball league for me and maybe just maybe i can make it nice there's no promises but Hey man, so I, might, I might get lucky. I might get lucky. So if you have not, you already know that you already know the categories because we just did the uh, the award last year's awards uh, within the last maybe eight weeks or four weeks or five weeks. So you can those are the same categories that are going to be applied to the next set of awards. So if you have any nominations or whatever, just you know put them on a spreadsheet somewhere, and then we can you know boil that down as well and have all the fun and games. And with that being said, the last bit of information is, and the mailbag will be concluded, is that uh, for the start of the next season, just giving you a heads up, we will be providing recorders a media kit. What that is, is basically that stuff that you're going to put either in the beginning, usually the beginning, I mean, I'm sorry, usually the end, but things you put at the end of the video and then uh, uh, stuff you can put in the middle of the video so that when i get it and i upload it to youtube i can actually help with the seo instead of having to just have matches abruptly end so you know, that'll be explained in greater detail towards the end of the season so enough of this whole other horse shit let's get back to the topic at hand we're here to talk about daniel xavier dane hairline whatever yes. the fuck udon noodles look at you excited you're like yay it's my time now <laughs> so so in the in, in the interest of transparency basically uh this man similar to b17 was banned from ocw but not similar to b17 this man was banned uh i don't know was it three times or two times or what uh, i don't Twice? know we, it might have been more than that i lost count i don't i don't know don't, don't say that that's, uh, that's a bad precedent precedent um i honestly think it was maybe two or three but uh so, uh, how do I how do I start this in a polite manner? All right, so my man joined. Uh, when do you remember when you joined? Two thousand what nine maybe? Two thousand seven. Oh, look at that! Yeah, you remember that shit, motherfucker. So he joined two thousand seven as the golden era was, I guess, in full effect maybe or coming to a close. Uh, I don't know. Either way, that was Xbox. So my man joined, and I'm gonna say maybe within. Was it the same year you got banned, or was it maybe 20, 2008, maybe, or 2009? I know, because I know uh, who it was. It was the was. same year, okay. because I'd only had a few matches, and then uh, I had that match with uh, Bold. Adrian, yeah, Adrian. Shout out to Adrian, and, uh, Adrian uh, WP Bold. Anyway, so so my man had, uh, this is Xbox 360, SmackDown versus Raw 2007. He had a match, and he said that uh, yeah, his batteries died. And, uh, and I guess you lost. So I'm trying to figure out why, like, you were bad for that immediately. I was like, fuck this guy. And, you know, and then the thing was batteries not included. That was the joke. So I'm trying to think specifically why I banned you for that. Cause well, I, I, I had lied about it. Like, I had covered oh, it up for the longest time. There you go. And then finally, like, I... I told somebody, it maybe been you, and then like I wrote an apology, and that oh, <laughs> it just it left a bad taste in everybody's mouth. Yeah, there you go. Hey guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the truth. Fuck you, get out. So yeah, okay. <laughs> so so he was excommunicado in 2007. Uh, do you remember when you came back? And to be fair, bold was uh, around this time, and this, that's not to defend you, but around this time, people really a lot of people played really just oof. you guys you know you complain about fpr now but back then boy oh boy just yeah well i was so fresh you know i really i didn't have it i didn't really know you know what was breaking fpr and what wasn't i figured you know the vets knew what they were doing you know i could trust them well and you know, so. this is remember this is the era when people used to body morph so if you didn't know if you didn't know in the older smackdown games you could body morph so you could um 
make your limbs longer, legs and and uh, and 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 arms. So yep. when you did this, you look kind of like a fucking uh, endomorph, like your arms were, like it, you look like like a predator. It looked really bizarre. You can tell when someone did it. And the funny thing about that is, by doing that, you increase your range in both striking and you know in striking and grappling. So by by making yourself a fucking mutant, you would actually have a, a, an advantage in the game. And there was a few people that you, you know did this. Most people didn't, but the few did. It gave them an advantage. So it was kind of frowned upon. And you know, of course, me being a lazy fuck, I really didn't do shit about it. But you know, that's not to defend you. But the, the bottom line is, you lied up. You you lost the match. You lied about it. You got you know you came forward and you got banned. So let's fast forward to when do you remember when you came back? Uh, I believe it was 2009. Okay, so two years later. So in between this time, you went. Did you go to? to was it GWA or where did you go? Do you remember? Yeah, it was GWA at the time. Uh, I might have gone somewhere else after that. I don't remember, but okay, so no, nothing really, nothing really to. All right, nothing, really of, no, nothing of note of that Not, you could really. Yeah, fine, that's fine. Nothing of note. Okay, so, so 2009, you return, and well, you asked to return, and. This is where I'll, and I admit this, I, I've said this in private, I'll say it in public. I went into my petty bag. So what that means is basically, all right, this fucking guy wants in and he's bugging me. And, but I'm like, you know what? If he wants to come in, then I'm going to get something out of it. So what it is, is uh, back in the old site, we had, um, uh, and the funny part about this is you, you did a bunch of stuff for a version three. And then immediately afterwards, we went to version four, which was kind of super plain. Well, the timeline's a little bit messed up, but yeah, OCW used to have a bunch of bits and bobs back in the day, and like we had all kinds of strange mechanics. Like this screenshots you can find around uh, if you check Discord, you might be able to find them. But like we had an arcade, uh, we had like an award system, we had achievements, all kinds of neat stuff. It, it was nice. It's just it ran the site just ran like way worse now. Like you think the site runs trash now. Uh back then it was way, way worse. Like you couldn't even log in half the time and most if you were on uh a Verizon server, uh if you had like a the right Verizon service, you, you would be, you know, kind of IP locked from the site for like, you know, anywhere between forty eight hours to a week. It was stupid. Uh but suffice to say, uh one of the things we had is we had like these awards. So um if you're familiar with the, the, the MMO World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft has icons for spells. I got my hand uh, my hands on one of these uh, sheets that had all the icons, but they had to be cut out in PNGs manually. So he wants to come back, and I want awards. So I'm like, you know what? If you come back, I'm making you do busy work. So I gave this motherfucker like every dumb, mundane task you could think of. I had him cut out awards manually and make little PNGs for little icons in two like. You had first, me write descriptions of Cairo. Yes, yes, I remember that. Yes, <laughs> I made him so I like. I know one sheet. I, I think I gave him. I think it was four or five sheets. I don't remember specific, but it was a lot. He had to cut out at least maybe two hundred icons. He did that, and then I and then because again my petty bag, the way that form worked, you had the preview icon which was really tiny, and then you had one that was slightly bigger. So it was like it was like twenty five by twenty five, and then uh, one hundred by one hundred. I had him cut those like two hundred things, and then you know shrink them and cut them again, because fuck it. <laughs> You know, because because fuck you, you you know, it, it's like it's like uh you know when you go to prison and you have to make license plates. Fuck it, I didn't feel bad about it. I said it in public, but I said it in private as well. Or wait, vice versa. I'm not drunk either. It's just my brain's fucking frazzled. Long week. So that's uh the second time. Uh, so you come back, and uh, see, cause your hist- your history is, is 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 sketchy because the issue was when you were com- when you know when you were. Uh, to to jump forward to to bring you back, it came up to a vote, and you know the main issue was people were concerned about you fucking up rookies because your gimmick back in the day, not even your gimmick, but you know, you would do what most you know the uh, the the go to efed gimmick, just trying to get your hooks and motherfuckers to just make yourself the baby click method. Yeah, yeah, get yourself over. So one thing in particular, this is the fun part of the story. Um, during this time, two thousand nine, when he comes back. Uh, I told, as I said, the site jumped to the new site because, you know, hosting and, and whatnot. So he basically did all that work for nothing. But I say that because around that same time, the UFC game came out and I was being pushed by a lot of people to make a UFC version of OCW, 
which I wound up doing. Yes, OCF. And OCF made a shitload of money, which I poured back into OCW. But during that time, during the time that Dane was there in 2009, it was like Dane, Leon, KD, Valmont, and a couple others. Um, I really wasn't managing the day-to-day for OCW. I was managing the day-to-day for the for the MMA site. So uh, that year was really fucking rough for OCW. It was really... I would look at the cars and just... Ooh, it was bad. It was... It was it was it was shit. It was just shit. Uh, so long story short, the MMA stuff lasted about a year. OCW was not in the toilet, but just really fucking bad in 2009, like really fucking bad. And then uh, eventually the MMA stuff wore thin because at least with OCW, you know, we would have stories and then comp- competition. The MMA motherfuckers only want. I just want to fight. I want to fight. Or well, maybe we can build the fight. Like how they you do in UFC now, how they kind of build bullshit stories based on reality. Like not not like stories, but hey, this guy's like this guy because he did this or whatever. I would try to get, you know, try to get anything. No, I going to fight. And then everybody's cheesy. So everyone would just pick Muay Thai and whatever the fuck the other one was. So at first it was interesting. And then it just became a fucking a boring grind with shitty, boring people. So I had our last event. I cashed out, closed the site, made money, poured it back in OCW. Then it came back in OCW. This is this is now 2010. So now I have to pick up the pieces that I the mess that I made. I was absentee dad in 2009. So around this time, 2010 comes around. And that is the dawn of the new era. You know what that means? That means the hoots. Better yet, back in the day, known as Team Reliable. A group of four rookies. Pat Lomai, Matt Suda, Dimsmore, Tiberius Dupree, and Spider. So, these four the rookies. The, yeah, the ambition. Spider! Era. Shut up. The legendary Spider! Shut your mouth. <laughs> dude, dude, shut up. So, <laughs> so... Okay, so, uh, you know, the ambition era and stupid spiders show up. <laughs> and uh, we wind up having, I, I forgot who the GM was. I think at one point it was Guy, I think the first one was Guy Foss, though. So we have the ambition era. And remember, th- the reason I say this is because I'm coming back now and, right, you know, 2009, o- right, OCW was the drizzling shit. So 2010, we're trying to recover. So we have the, uh, you know, we make the ambition for the rookies, right? And at first, it was similar to when Turmoil started. No one gave a fuck about him. But the difference was these four or five guys, like we had, there was more people than them. But, you know, those people were just whatever rookies. They didn't really care. But these four to five fucking people, they winded up with Guy Fausto's help and then a little bit of Leon, they winded up making ambition popping. Like it was, it was, it was, it was. I've never seen it happen again. Just put it that way. It's it's never happened it's again. Basically, it was basically what NXT now is now to WWE. It's the the top brand basically in the fans' eyes. Yeah. So it was it was getting over like it was getting over like Rover, and people didn't give a fuck about Riot. So this is the funny part. So now, at first, the Riot people were like, mm, "Fuck these people, well, fuck them, fuck them," and then now it's like, "Oh." So certain people my man included decided to try to get their hooks in the rookies because these, these guys are still rookies you know dupree and uh and pato and mugen matt i'm not mugen uh matt suda uh uh, uh and uh and, and dims they're all everybody's rookies still they're still fresh off the boat i remember i remember speaking to them on xbox live and i'm like they were all, if you know imagine dupree being happy and excited i was like yo i was like i love your energy guys but i want you to know in two years y'all gonna hate this place oh no this is great this is wonderful and then in two years, yo, you was right, Jay. Like, yes, yeah, see, see, I was right. Yay. Oh, sadness and depression. So, as I said, ambition starts to get over and people start to care about ambition. And then now the vets that didn't give a fuck, now they're trying to get their hooks in. So around this time, ambition winded up. Um, this is the, the other part that I give uh, the team reliable, a.k.a. the Hoots credit for. They made a rookie faction. But the thing is, they made a rookie faction, but they weren't all in it. So the rookie faction winded up being like it was called Lotus. I forget most of the members. I know it was Pato, Suda, I believe, Spider. And then the antagon the protagonist for that was uh Dupree and Dimsmore. So they basically was good versus evil. So, you know, it wasn't just a giant rookie click. It was a, a giant rookie clusterfuck. So that was the first, if not only, rookie faction that got really fucking over. So what happens? Uh Fucking Dane 
has an alt that no one really cares about by the name of Justin Rockstar. And um, without the the knowledge or or blessing or or uh, communication with these people pulls a, 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 a fast one and he does a promo at the end of I don't know if it was a writer of an ambition and his his shitty all basically clears the ring of the entire faction. And well, they trusted me and, you know, for good reason at the time I was I was doing pretty good with my main guy dane but like you know you, you you like you said earlier you know i just need to say you know my bad you know my mistakes i, I need to admit to that and not make any any uh not try to make any excuses but you know or I, you could have just fucking be like hey can i and then they'll probably be like nah it's not a good idea and then that, that would have been that but you you wanted up doing that dumb shit and you know the funny thing about it is that's kind of what what would put the bug up everybody's ass because it's like all these people that you did that to back then now they're all fucking legends like they're all like retired and and they're still here and you know that that was that was like the lasting impression that they got from you for that bullshit now it sounds minuscule but in hindsight think about it you know you're doing what you you know we tell you here like you got to get yourself over you got to do what you got to do da 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 they're doing that they, you know we tell them oh man if you're going to do a faction got to be careful they do it the right way. They're doing everything the fucking right way. And then someone who's supposed to be looking out for them, or, you know, allegedly or whatever, does some bullshit. It wasn't even a main guy, too. It was just a fucking all. And, they, and, then, and then there was no reason for it. So the thing is, when I saw it, I'm like, I'm like, this is dumb. But I didn't, you know, no one complained to me because, again, the, uh, you know, those people are not going to, the hoots, and they're not going to really, like, complain to me at the time. They're not going to be like, hey, man, that's messed up. They're just be like, oh, word? All right, cool. So, you know, basically that happens. It's it's stupid. It doesn't really hurt them much, but it kind of fucks fucks up momentum, so to speak. But because hoots are hoots, um uh basically they killed the character. The the guy who uh the rookie, they uh the Justin they killed that character and I allowed it because it's like fuck it. So what happened is uh, he that character wanted up getting banged up or something. He's in the hospital, and long story short, they pulled the plug on his monkey ass when he was on, on life support. So that that technically does count as as a as an MDK in OCW. I'm not sure, but fuck it. You know, yes, what you deserve. You know, you try to bury rookies and they have you killed. So I think it's a fair trade off, in my opinion. It feels very hoodish, but you're yeah. a killer, Jay. And Not, you allowed it to happen. I, as far as I'm concerned, you're a killer. That shit was hilarious. I think Matsuda did it, and he was like looking at as the camera face. He's smiling, and you just hear beep beep. Fuck you, Alt. You're dead, bitch. You're dead. Yeah, well, Alts today think they have it bad. You ain't out here getting murdered. You, <laughs> you ain't out here getting the cord pulled. You son of a bitch. <laughs> no doubt. Okay, so, uh, so basically, we we've established you as a shithead, and and that's where we are moving <laughs> forward. And then I'm trying to think. Uh, I know, I know that the bad will, the the um, the ill will continued for far long after because at one point, uh, Dane had, um, he was building a program with Vincent Valmont, and they were having a steel cage match at at uh, at Resolution. I don't remember which Resolution, but they were having a steel cage match at Resolution, and that was what was being built. So in true Hoot fashion. Um, I'm trying to figure out how or why I allow this to happen, but I'll take the blame for it. Um, the Hoots winded up doing, uh, so they, Valmont and Dane built, the, they, they were building up, was it a Hell in a Cell? It was a Hell in a Cell, right? Or was it a cage? It was, yeah, Hell, in it was Cell. A Hell in a Cell. I even made like a promo video for, from the old, uh, the old Hell in a Cell matches, the history of yeah. Hell in a Cell and OCW. Yeah. So they, they were building a Hell in a Cell match for Resolution. So in Hoot fashion, um, there was a pre-show, right? And guess what was in the pre-show? A Hell in a Cell between two old guys. It was Will Pepperton and uh, 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 it was, I think it was Will Pepperton and uh, Skip Kerplowski in a Hell in a Cell. Dupree, I believe. <laughs> yep, they did. They did it, and I allowed it in Hell in a Cell. And at the end, since they're both old, they both died. Not in the ring, though. They, you know, they had to be carried out. But the the story was that after Hell in a Cell, they both died because they're old. The Pepperton and Kapowski feud, because that was the that was the other thing too. There was a feud between the Pepperton and the Kapowskis when the in the ambition era started. They were just old, and they would have their students from each rival school. Like I believe, you know, Spider was a Pepperton, uh, uh, Dupree was a Kapowski. So you know, that's how that that's how that uh, uh, lore began. So those two had a Hell in a Cell in the thing, 
And, uh, you know, the two old guys wound up dying at the very, you know, off camera. Not off camera, but, you know, eventually because they're old. And I was furious. Well, what what they did was they were on top of the cell. The the cell was already open, the the top where the hole is. And they just ran at each other right where the hole was. And they both fell through. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That was the end of the match. They both fell through the hole, the cell, and they both won. So, so in hindsight, it's funny. But I was furious. Now imagine, like you, so, you said, you said that was Dane and Valmont. No, no, Dane and Valmont. Dane and Valmont had a Hell in a Cell match that they were building, and the Hoots did a Hell in a Cell match between two old people in the pre-show. Right on the pre-show, that was that was Lucian Seven. Yeah. So think of it like, uh, think of it like you doing the the tag unification match, right? And then I don't know, Baby Click doing a tag unification match in the pre-show. Right. Similar right, to that, right. except way you know they wouldn't be as funny. But, so, but just to set the stage, this is this is uh, April thirtieth of twenty twelve. So this is a while ago. This is this is resolution seven. We just had, you know, resolution thirteen. This is a while. Yeah, ago. yeah, it's a long, 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 long time ago. So suffice to say, I was furious, uh, but I let it happen. So that that just you know that's basically like a fuck you to this guy. And you gave I mean, my receipt. You yeah, know, no, they, <laughs> yeah, he you got your receipt, goddamn. <laughs> you know, and to be fair, I think the the Kraplowski Pepperton match was actually better than the Valmont Dane match, but that's my opinion. Um, okay, so I'm trying to think of the other stuff because yeah, in total, you actually banned. Well, let, let's okay. backtrack a little bit. Like, what sure. about? Uh, do you remember back uh, Summerside? Oh, oh, you want to talk about the crane? You want to talk about the crane? We talk about the yeah, crane. Yeah, let's too. talk about the crane. Sure, don't don't get gassed. You thought you thought I thought. was. I was on a roll. Uh, I was beating everybody. I, I was, I was kicking ass, and uh, I had a, I was building a program with Trevor McManus at the time, who was the champ. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, I'll, I'll let you take it from there. Okay. Like summer yeah. Don't summer. Don't, don't, puff your, don't puff your chest out. You can't do that with me. So, yeah. So <laughs> at this point, as he said, he was doing well. But here's the, now here's the part where I got to be a dickhead, and I apologize. So. He's doing well, but the people who could be competing would rather not be competing in the main event, if that makes any sense. It's not like turmoil where there's no like there's no main event main event guys because not not saying there's no main event guys, but it's not like turmoil where a lot of people are not considered the main event. It's the opposite. There's a main event scene and there's people that can go in the main event easily, but they're like, I would rather stab myself in the dick, so I'm just gonna have mid car fuse and have fun as opposed to go to the main event and be miserable with these shitty people. That's what the, that's what the connotation was because no disrespect to Chevy McManus, but Chevy McManus went on record to say that he doesn't watch any content or shows and and his you know his he just all he. Did it was wrestle and it is what it was he wasn't he was good at the game but he wasn't he was mechanically sound so it's it's him who doesn't give a shit and then it's fucking it's fucking dane who's who gives so much of a shit it's my time to shine but you're basically the tallest kid in third grade so yes you're on a fucking roll cool great whatever <laughs> so so tre- since trevor's really good there's a ladder match at summerside and but I think you did the poster for Summerside. That shit was terrible. The, the little video intro texting, I like that, but the actual poster was horrible. But you know, sorry, I just had to get it off my chest. That sounds petty. Oh, yeah, it that is what it bad. is. That was fucking just garbage. And by I, I allowed it, so it, at the end of the day, it's my fault. So that, that was a throwaway. I don't even know why I did that. Because you're lazy. So we we go and uh, you know he's on he's on his roll. He's doing whatever. He has a ladder match. So in my head, I'm like, all right, cool. Trevor is gonna, you know, Trevor is gonna win because Trevor's really good at the game. It's a ladder match. I don't know. I guess Trevor fucked up and this guy's climbing the ladder. He's about to grab the briefcase. So I call it. There you go. Look at that fucking receipts, huh? Damn. You don't see it now, but Jesus it's Christ. Not the wor- it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah but, but it's not. But, but, yeah. but it, it didn't age well, is what I'm going to say. It, yeah, it, it did boy. not age well. But that should oh, be the- nobody liked that. That should nobody be the- <laughs> liked it. I feel bad Everybody for you, man. I, yeah, I feel bad for you. That was the only time I ever had the community on my side. <laughs> in 2011 for for what it is i mean it is uh but, but you know what i'll, sh- I'll, sh- I'll show you what well, i did in 2010 fair, go ahead to be fair in that match trevor was he was beating the dog he was whooping like, your he, ass but he couldn't fucking and climb the problem the was he couldn't climb the he ladder. could not set up a ladder to say he could not set it up in the middle of the ring i grab it one time set it up perfectly knock him down walk up and grab it Ah, so, so he so he grabs fair, it. Know. So he grabs the championship. So one could say that maybe he would he would become OCW champion. But again, in my petty bag, um, there's a video. I, I it's 
I it's on the YouTube, but I can't play it because you know sound. So I give you I'll give you the synopsis. I think you have it on private now. Yeah, it's on private, but it won't load anyway because it's blocked in like 90, 97 countries. I can watch it, but that's about <laughs> it. Is is it the grand finale? Uh, I believe so the so. one after the match, or is it the match itself? No, I, I I think it might be added to the match. I don't remember. I, I don't know. I think, it's, my head. It, I might think be. it might be after the match. It's got to be after. Like, it's got to be after because I have the main event loaded right now. It's not. No. Here. Yeah. No, because the main event doesn't actually have a winner. It just cuts off. Yes. Yeah. You're right. You're right. So yeah. so it is the one. It's there's a blocked video at the very end. Yeah. Because it cuts off. So and remember, this yeah, is back, this is, is back when the technology was worse. So as this, he's climbing, and this is this is sorry, Jay, but this is it's funny that you should say this because this is actually Summerside 2011. The tagline here is called the YouTube Experiment, and like <laughs> we 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 play on YouTube all day now, but it's it's super funny to go back eight years yeah. and see this is called the the YouTube Experiment. Do, do like side, quick sidebar when people are sucking like uh, you know FAM's dick for what they did we were doing that in 2010 but you know what the problem is we had 12 fucking episodes of fully produced fully choreographed you know good matches with wonderful commentary from Warren and them but you know what happened YouTube muted everything like we had like 13 episodes we did riot we did three riot episodes and we did uh, 13 episodes of uh, OCW Unleashed and fucking YouTube muted all of them so, oh, so after that, I was like, fuck this shit. But of course, right. these fucking weirdos, look at what we're doing, WWE. We love you guys. Fuck off. Anyway, back to the topic. Sorry, I'm still bitter. So so the, the summer side ends with he's grabbing the thing and you would assume, oh, hey, he wins. So because we can't load up the video because it's blocked in Uganda and everybody, uh, uh, nine of the other countries, what happens is during this era, I had like... um. My gimmick was that I was legit insane. So at one point I had like a, uh, I started doing like voice promos and they were really fucking cringy, but also hilarious. But I'm never going to play them again. Um, so long story short, I, I, there's a video of, of a crane pulling out of a, of, of a fucking wherever the hell it's pulling out of. Summerside was in, I think, what is it? Miami or some shit like that. It was someplace like sunny. And the, the video is this, the same crane. And then uh, footage from Terminator 3 where they, the crane scene just destroying half of fucking Metropolis, the metropolitan area. And the thing is, uh, uh, my assistant, Birdie, is driving the, the fucking um, uh, the crane. And then I'm on the outside of the crane or whatever. And like uh, the target is the OCW championship. And, we, you know, just a bunch of chaos. And then the crane goes into the fucking arena, goes into the ring, s- slowly raises up to where he's at. And then I cut a promo burying him and Trevor and I take the championship basically so fuck you so uh so yeah so i i cut like a three minute promo but the thing is since i'm uh, since i'm a lunatic uh it was really it's funny but it's cringy as fuck like i was i was nuts it was it was it was maybe it was inspired by fucking heat ledger i don't even remember if, if dark knight was out back then but i was bananas that's when i had like the lord shark thing the the rubber shark the gimmick you don't know about it but i used to have like a, a foam rubber shark called lord shark and it's basically like my best friend oh, yeah and lord shark was awesome like uh, fun fact the who strike was basically the shark attack so spider took my gimmick because fuck so fuck spider but yeah so everyone loved the shark and i was insane and i took the belt and then the gimmick was it was like schmeagle and uh and uh and uh fucking lord of the rings like my precious so pe- like trevor tried to get the belt back i bit him in the hand like like dane was like oh, but it's mine like fuck you and i don't remember what happened but long story short he never got near the title anyway ever again so if he won i'm gonna say i'm gonna uh uh you know no so he was never champion so petty bag no no champion so so that happened well, i had an opportunity but it was what was the follow-up championship scramble oh okay which yeah. i never made it to because it was late at night and it was all the brits online so, I, so did you compete- had to fill in for me basically oh they used i never call. did get that opportunity again well, on the on the on the on the front, end, at least you you got the app, even though you couldn't fulfill the app. But at least I feel good in that you gave the app, you got the app, so I don't feel total total fucked up. But yeah, so then that's twenty. Uh, absolutely not. The, I enjoyed the time. The storylines were fun. You know everything I did with with you and with Trevor. The, I I enjoyed all that. And as you know, I, anything I have thrown at me, I'll take it and run with it. And I did just that. And I think it I think it worked out for the best because it kind of. It kind of gave that season uh, some spark that it really needed. Yeah, and people like that. See that that like the thing is, if I have to carry a fucking angle and get get an award for it, that's I don't think that's a good thing. Because I don't like being involved. That was when I go, oh, Jason involved. All he does is comedy. Fuck you, Jamie. Yeah, so all I do is comedy because it's funny, stupid. So yeah, so you know that Dummy. it it was fun and whatever. But uh, yeah, 
So now we fast forward, uh, maybe what, 2013, maybe, or maybe actually 2012, uh, one of those times. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About 20. I don't know. Anyway, so basically, uh, everyone knows Parker Stevens and Paul Pugh, obviously. They did not like this man. And, you know, with good reason that they're not not justified. But basically, uh, they rode this motherfucker like a like a like a stone pony nonstop nonstop like, nonstop i mean you deserved it you deserved it so it's look i i got no simpy um and you wanted up saying one day you t- you said you sent me a message you're like hey man uh you know uh you should uh you should probably just deactivate my account because if you don't i'll just keep coming back and da da da. so i was like you sure yeah all right cool deactivated so I don't know. Maybe uh, an hour later, I've made a terrible mistake. You said something that I fucking found funny. You were like, "Um, uh, uh, can you turn my account back?" I'm like, "No." You you said you're done, so you're done. So you 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 cold turkey hoot. So yeah. So that so the thir- the the first two bannings were justified. The third one was self exile that I just imposed. I'm like, "Hey man, you want out? You out? That's it. The the gates are closed." So during this time, you know, uh, you would try to sneak back in and get kicked out. I remember Bip, whatever the fuck, at one point, uh, you, you made a guy named Bip. Bip you, Stamp. You, yeah. I don't you, know how I remember that. Yeah, Bip Stamp. I, cha- I changed him to Bip Hairline. I think that's where the thing came from. Uh, yeah, man, there's a bunch of stuff. Like, there's that long letter you wrote to fucking Kent that we made fun of uh, at one point. Won't go into it, but, you know, you can look it up. It's somewhere around the thing because uh, you were, you know, in your feelings. It is what it is. Um, you know, the usual, the usual nonsense, uh, mocking of the internet of people who do dumb things. Don't feel bad about it. Well, I didn't do partic- participate in it in the sense that I, I didn't facilitate it, but you know, you did it to yourself. Uh, is I didn't vi- know how evil the internet was back then. Yeah. I don't know if it's victim shaming or not, but, uh, oh no, you're the one that said cyberbullying is not only a crime, it's pathetic. That was your line. I quoted that. It's on the that's on the forum. I quoted you for that. You told me yeah. that shit on AIM. And you said that shit in the shout box. And we just laughed at you like, oh, shut the fuck up. Man, we were terrible back then. Jesus Christ. My bad. Well, not really. You deserved it. Um, so let me see where we're at. So this is not as, as, as intriguing as I thought it would be because it's very straight and to the point. So at this point, you go someplace else. Uh, I tell them, hey, man, be careful with this guy. And they just don't listen to me. You wanted up being there doing your thing. And then I believe maybe a year or two after that, their site got deleted and they told me you did it. And I was like, that's what you get because I told you not to, to add this motherfucker. You say you don't what? remember it. Uh, I think it was it was a red site. It had, it had to have been GWA. It was one of them. Maybe it was, the guy was lying. But the thing is, they said that you deleted uh, uh, their forum, like, you know, just it was because you had access to the fo- their forum and they, they, you deleted it. But the thing is, whatever site it was that you allegedly deleted or, or whatever, what have you, those same people, when they rebuild their stuff, like week or two, three weeks later, they reinvited you. So maybe it was bullshit or maybe they're just fucking dumb. I don't remember. So I'm not going to speculate on stuff that I can't remember. But long story short, you just kind of drifted about. Uh, for the longest time, you know, feds here, feds there. And then we find ourselves, um, pretty much here now. So, uh, how do I, how do I, uh, how do I colorize this in a way? He's, he's, he's finding a segue, ladies and gentlemen, everybody, Jason Clinton sensation. He's looking for a way to transition. (laughs) Is that, is that you going into announcing mode? You know, sometimes you have to. It's fine. Appreciate it. Thank I'm, you. So I'm much. just buying you time right no, now. Thank, I appreciate it. And you know, because because I'm <laughs> stupid, I didn't even notice that. I'm just like, why you just threw me off? You made it worse. Like <laughs> I did. You, I you probably made it, did. Yeah, because you, you don't knowing you, I probably you know did. my you attention weren't. spans. I was like, thank you, thank you. And you start talking like, oh, he's talking. I have to. What are you talking about? Hi. He's so, having match flashbacks because he knows I'm in announcer mode. He's trying to get in his own zone. I get. I'm getting ready to say, how's the bird flu? <laughs> <laughs> so we fast forward now and um wherever you were you're not there anymore uh for whatever reason and basically uh i'll you know start talking to you trying to trying to find out what's what and you know long story short wherever the fuck you was at shit wasn't popping um you know 
since the dawn of time, people have always tried to emulate OCW, and since the dawn of time, people have failed miserably. It just is what it is for the simple fact that I'm ignorant, and I do things a certain way, and because of it, that's why we have our limited success. And when I say limited success with success, I'm not trying to be like, oh, we're the fucking best, because again, we are a shit stain on the highway of life, but there's no one in this niche of a niche that will outwork us period when it comes to specifically what we do now i'm not talking about making you know fucking john moxley attire videos on and getting thousands of hits on youtube i'm not talking about wwe 2k20 should have xyz videos i'm not talking about you know universe streamers who you know stream community stuff i'm not talking about any of that i'm talking about specifically player versus player competitive based stuff uh with efed elements we are the best at what we do period i will put that to the test against anybody because i've been to these places i've been looking or quote-unquote scouting all these places and what they do they fucking talk shit on discord and then they do a match on mixer that no one sees hey guys our match is happening it's fucking 3 p.m on a fucking on a tuesday okay is anybody watching no it doesn't matter like that's what they do they're fucking weird i don't know i don't know how anyone and and then like if you type champ if you type title it'll come up seven thousand results because that's all they fucking talk about it is in it is the definition of insanity so again my point is when it comes to this specific specific niche, niche of a niche there is nobody that can fucking touch us so uh got the story uh, whatever it, it is what it is and you know bottom line you're here now and i put it to a vote i had I, the thing is i would you know at the end of the day i can do what i want but i'm not gonna fuck with the community and bring in somebody who i feel will be detrimental so i'm like yo i go to i go to the brain trust aka the who i go to spider i'm like yo uh if i if i actually know i went to nate and dupree first because nate you know nate is the the voice of reason all the time and so is uh dupree so i'm like look this is uh you remember, you remember fucking you remember uh remember dane hairline i'm i'm, I'm gonna stop saying hairline because i used to say it a lot but so i remember dane and i'm like hey this is what happened this is what's up um you know he doesn't seem like an asshole but people i've been wrong before but what do you think and they're like you know some people do deserve a chance so he was never a bad uh worker it was just the stuff regarding i hate saying worker but basically a good hand so i'm like yeah, that's true that is true so then I go to the brain trust and I'm like, hey, Hoots, what do you think? Absolutely not. All right, cool. No problem. It is what I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to anger uh, the majority of seniority in OCW because it doesn't make any sense. So then a little while later, it winds up becoming a topic of discussion. And I'm not privy to that dis discussion. And long story short, it came down to one vote. I believe it was Pew who just said, fuck it. And here we are. So it's been, I don't know, a month, maybe two, probably a month and a half. Has ha have had any issue? And a half, yeah. yeah. Uh, just the one issue with the the weird. Uh, what was it? What was it, Jake? For, uh, I didn't know the. Whoa, the... Whoa, whoa. Let, oh, stay on chronological order. We'll get to that. Okay. So yeah. So <laughs> other than, other than that, I haven't really said any. Uh, haven't had any issues. Um, if anything, my issue was he should probably be a little bit more uh, interactive. But he's, you know, you're basically uh, on your P's and Q's. So, you know, congratulations for that. It's only been a month and a half. So, you know, there's still time for you to fuck up greatly. And yeah, that's basically what we had. The, 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 the idea is, is that, you know, the main concern and again, in the vein of transparency is you because we've had the issue where people, you know, they get their hooks in a, a couple of folks and then it just kind of poisons the well. It's happened multiple times. Shit. Look at the fucking thing that Adam posted, that stupid ass uh, chat. <laughs> oh, boy, that was a fun time. Yeah, oh, chat. oh man that was oof, boy good old chit chat I, I was in there for all of yeah 18 hours and then, and then i think i just i was like i'm done with this i was like yeah, i just bet uh, was... I, I i took it as a joke uh, for my oh it was it was a joke until, it, was, it was a no, joke it, until... it was a joke for me and then i jumped into that chat and i was like ooh, my ooh. fucking i was just like beside myself and just i was abhorrent in the way that like other people could act in this environment it was it was yeah. crazy to me i've never I, seen i, I love the like word it. abhorrent so yeah so the point is is basically you know when it comes for people getting their hooks and folks that because that's what happens so that was the main concern so so far i haven't seen that and hopefully that's not that doesn't happen in the future so you said keep on chronological order so uh specify what you mean Jake. well wait, well well i just meant not to get ahead of yourself i wanted to stay on track so, uh, you know, from my perspective, 
<laughs> coming in i didn't know I, I i don't know anything really about dane and um have only really heard negative things to be honest yeah, with you about, about him yeah i mean I, I, well, I, really when you you talk about somebody who's been a part of a community you're only going to talk about headlines whether they are positive or negative and i've really only heard about the headlines which have been negative through my own research and jay you can vouch for me on uh you know my extensive just ridiculous stupid research that i've done on yeah. this stupid fucking empire of dog shit that you've created i love the empire um, of dog shit uh I, I've seen several Dane matches, and but I wasn't here during it, obviously. So I've only heard bad things. So I was, I was like a fucking wolf. I was watching him like a like a hawk as soon as he came in. Um, and then surprising to me, maybe not surprising to other people who knew him before, his call was like dope. His like Odin Klein is awesome. Like his move set is fucking awesome. His his promo style works. Not gonna say it's like Bobby Minio, but like it works. Uh, but the main thing was that he could be cheat like, he could be a DB like. So I was like, as the resident rookie guy who like reaches out and care packages these people, uh, I didn't send one to him because I know he was he is he's aware of OCW. He's been around EFED, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna no, I'm not gonna send him the care package. I send all these other rookies. I'm gonna see what happens. Uh, I, it just so happens that. Um, I was booked in his first match in OCW with the man called Jupiter. And all in all, it was a solid match. I think the biggest part was that it happened to fall on the riot that was a complete shit show for FPR and just <laughs> and just sent me over the edge. So I'm not going to say that it was totally on him or on me or on anybody in particular. It was just the fact that that match fell on the same week that put me over the boiling point in, ter in terms of fo following FPR, a main event that had a plethora of FPR breaks, that fucking dark match with Spider, and, with Calix Eastbrook and, and Leo Grimm that had 10 FPR breaks in a single match. There was a lot of problems that show that were OCW overarching issues that, that I tried to address in my post. The issue that, the only issue I had coming in, and it was a bad first impression, was that my match with dane went one way and then his explanation went another way in the in the forum so the miscommunication there was was a, an immediate click to me was like okay so all the things i've been hearing are true this guy's a fucking liar he's like coming at he's coming at us from all different directions he's trying to manipulate people um that was a long time ago not not really in the grand scheme of things it was only a few weeks ago but it was a long time ago all things considered and everything that i've seen since then really hasn't been an issue uh that leads me to believe that it was just an issue of miscommunication um i'm not one to <laughs> follow the hoots lead like i want to give everybody a chance i'm gonna let the hoots tell me what they want i'm gonna let the people tell me what they want and and go on that so that's why i like kept an eye on dane and just to see what it and, and how stupid does that sound in an efed to keep an eye right. on somebody but listen keep an <laughs> yeah, eye like, on keep an I, eye on that. i see you motherfucker what you I'm trying watch, to do i'm watching my reputation precedes me don't, don't talk yeah, don't I'm, talk I'm, to no rookies motherfucker li listen here listen here odin i've been in the efed scene since 2018 <laughs> 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 no, no, but serious, but but like he's 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 fine. Like there's there's nothing wrong. I mean, His, I, I'm more interested at this point, and this is this is telling on the on the whole situation. I'm way more interested on what Odin Klein does at this point than what Dane does as a handler. And and that but it's a short time, and and maybe he like two days after this podcast fucks up, and he's on my shit list again. But at this point, I'm cool with him. He's uh, hopefully cool with me. We're we're all on the same page. Oh, absolutely. OCW number one. Yeah. I OCW mean, number one for sure. Oh, don't 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 do that. Don't don't pay. It. Don't do that. Just it's, it's fine. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh no, you can Hopefully do it because you're the number one. You're the number one stooge, but he can't do it. Not yet. I, I'm the Tony. OCW yeah, you're the number one. You're the stu yeah, you're the Tony for us and the and the fucking uh, the young bucks too. You fuck. <laughs> oh my God. B elite B B elite Jesus Christ yeah man so, I'm so sorry I'm ashamed it's fine Go ahead. no it's it's just funny because without delving too deep into it so 
uh, you know, when he was in other places, he, he was, you know, he wound up being tasked with responsibilities. So you as someone, you know, uh, you, Jake, you, you've had responsibilities here and you know what they entail and whatnot. But when like, you know how we try not to, to hold people's hands, like, you know how we're like, hey, man, you will help you, but we are not doing everything for you. Yeah, you want to show somebody how to do something. You don't want to yeah. do anything for them. This motherfucker right. out here recording matches for everybody. Like that's like and yeah, he's not. He's not. He's not. He no 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 no. He's not in the match, bro. He's he's because back in the day we used to back in OCW Classic we used to have like uh, people who couldn't record. We would do basically we would have somebody there and they would like wear an all black suit and we call them Cam Ninja. So the the idea was to just be in the background and record. And some people were really good at it. Shout out to DJ Shino. He came up with the Cam Ninja name and you know he was good at it. Guy Guy Foster was great at it. He would have it would be a dude in all a, the smallest skinniest car in all black like a ninja costume and you wouldn't really see them because the videos were horrible looking because they were like three hundred by three. 60 by 240 so you you would just see it you just there would be the cameraman but as technology increases you know everybody can record in some capacity some good some some fucking terrible and some just please get it get to fucking together but this motherfucker out here recording like everybody's match that's that's fucking crazy like you you know how you gonna have people and then they you know you gotta fend for themselves and and just doing mad just well, doing people mad would shit. come to me and I, I would always say yes like i because yeah, you, you, you a sucker can't can't do that you gotta be like nah man you gotta you gotta do your own shit um what what i found funny and i, I guess i'll go into my fucking uh uh my um uh not petty bag but uh my aha bag do you have any other bag oh i have i have many bags I, look if i'm at least if i'm petty i will let you know i'm petty see anything that i said you know like any, everything that said here is shit that i've said to his face or you know, not to his face, but I will, I'll do both. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be the person to be like, Oh, Jake is a fucking diva. And then, Oh, Hey Jake, how's it going, man? You're the fucking best. You know, I don't do that. I'll call you a diva. I'll call you a diva behind your back. And then in your fucking face, I'll be like, you a diva. I, I, I do it that way. So, um, remember like how my, my, my initial argument is, is do you know how, because you like all right how do i phrase this jake you, you know how you 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 are we you you're not you're not you're not staff and forgive me if i'm stuttering i'm a little tip now i'm actually tipsy um and you know how you hold have, your liquor jason sensation i know you have uh you have nate you have dupree myself and you and to some extent lee so imagine uh if you will you and uh nate have a match right and yeah. You have to tell, like, like the guy who's at the top, the guy who's running things or whatever, or the number two. Hey, man, you're you got your FPR. You got to do that. Like, that's you, you see the problem with that. I do. That's that's not a good thing. That is not a good thing. I'm just that is not good at all. Like that person should be the fucking example, not the exception. Like. You can say I have. You can make fun of everyone. May ah, Jay's FPR stinks. That's cool. But you know what? I don't compete. I don't do shit. I just run it. I just run the 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 ride playland for you guys to to ride the dragon coasters and the Ferris wheels and shit. I don't I don't do anything else. So like, this is what comes down to is is when you got places that got like you know, like everywhere you go, the person who runs it or people who run it, they're also champions. And that's that's dumb. See, in your in your in your uh, instance, you actually became champion, but it wasn't because it's not that you're champion that you're in the staff position. It's because you're actually good at your job. You get what I'm saying? Well, I was champion before yeah. staff yeah. happened. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, Nate. I, I don't want it anymore. Nate is begrudgingly champion because of what happened. Yes. And that's because he beat the fuck out of the guy who had the championship, and that you know, which happens every year, as I've heard. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, so you know, when in doubt, break glass, get Nate. So it, it is what it is. <laughs> hey man, look, look, that, that's the go to because it's, it makes sense. A quality handler, and you get you beat him, you, you know, you, you move on to the next level. And if you don't beat him, then it is what it is. But the idea is, is that. I am not the, you know, this champion, that champion, this champion. I'm not I'm not in all these divisions. I'm not you're not having a hey Jay, you gotta you gotta chill with your Jay, you gotta chill with your FPR. What you say, Jake? The fuck you say to me, motherfucker? Dude, shut the fuck up. You you fucking you know what you're demoted. 
You demoted for Patreon and staff, motherfucker. Like what? Like you see, it's got to be saying? tough for you. It's got to be tough for you though to to hold this. Um, I, I can't put how high I hold OCW, you know, in terms of regard in your brain, but it's got to be difficult for you to see this amazing shit you've built and not be able to be a part of it. No, on a, on a competition standpoint. No, I, I mean, I, I'm speaking strictly from my point of view. You've been at this for 15 years. I've only been here for two years, but there is no way like the whole appeal to me. It's like, oh, I got this is awesome. Like, I got it. I want to I want to contribute. I want to help as much as I can. You have to understand when you want to build something that's incredible, how like in, enticing it is to be a part of it and to to be. But that's the difference is being a part of it and making yourself at the top and like not holding yourself accountable. That's that's the biggest difference. So there, I, I can't applaud you enough for having the humility to just step back and allowing other people to take advantage of this this empire of dog shit this um, this, this it's incredible <laughs> it's unbelievable I, I don't even have any other words for it 15 <sighs> fucking years like of all of the all of the turmoil no pun intended all of the bullshit that you've had to put up with and th- you have you just have no interest right you, you're just done with it um like the thought of having to do with any of you on a day-to-day basis like for a storyline makes me sick <laughs> <laughs> fair like, enough I i'm in like, the thick of it and i'm right there with i you. I I love I love Nate and Dupree and when they were like, hey, you want to do something for the fan manga? I was like, ugh, okay, just <laughs> just 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 send it to me and I'll, I'll fill it in. It's fine. <laughs> like like God bless his soul. Benji was like, but can I use in a, in a can I use an RP? I was like, sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Fucking Val 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 She's like, uh, oh, we're having RP. I'm like. Yeah, just look. I, like I tell everybody, leave it blank. Let me know you're submitting it, and I'll fill it in as needed. That's it. I just, I, I just the, the thought makes me I'm like, oh fuck. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. And it's not because I don't like none of you. I don't like none of y'all. But the thing is, is like, I, I don't, I don't care. It's re- I really don't give a fuck. I, I, the last thing on my mind is competing in any compet like. Maybe one off with a with a goof a, a, a goofy character, but then the thing is, I'll sit in, I'll sit in and fucking and create a mar- character. I'll create a character. I'm like, yeah, let's go. And then I realize now I gotta listen to fucking cast. You can't have that move. You can't, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to do that. It's not. It's not cast. Well, it's anymore, you, or it's you know. Me. <laughs> and then the thing is, I'm like, I'm like, I, I, sometimes I'll be like, oh man, I'll, I'll come, so I'll start from the bottom and make it to the top, and I'm like. I got. I gotta fight. Fucking that. Oh god. I don't yeah. fucking fight. Like, I gotta fight this. I, I gotta do a job against Odin Klein. I, I I'm gotta, not, I'm like, not doing. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. Fuck. I gotta fucking fight. I gotta fucking fight Prince. Oh god. Ugh. Oh great. Oh hey. Oh hey. It's fucking Telos. Yay. Oh look. It's fucking. It's it's H two O. This is gonna be exciting. Wonderful. Oh hey. Maybe I'll just go with Drago. Oh look. I've been murdered. It's excellent. Great feeling. Ooh. It's you know, rough. Like. I just, I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want, I don't, ugh, no, I don't ever, 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 ever. At most, the hot tag in a, in a fucking match, like to to just loll around and fucking take a couple, get knocked up a little bit, and that's about it. I, I don't give a fuck, son. I do not. The last thing on my mind when I, I became, uh, when I was a, uh, when I was champion, it was because everybody was like, yo, just do it. I'm like, no, like, come on, like, it'll be fun. I'm like, no, I don't want to do it. Come on, you can feud with Nate. I'm like, I don't care. I don't want to feud with anybody. Leave me alone. And I did it, and that was it. So I was, I was a champion in 2008. And then 2009, we went to shit. But yeah, I just, I don't like it. I don't feel, so it's not, so when I when I see it, it's just weird to me because when when you're supposed to be the guy, you're supposed to be the example. And I don't, I don't think that, and I, don't, I haven't seen anyone that can do it properly at all and i've been around like you said for 15 years no one has done it right so you know people do these they do the empires for themselves which i think is kind of selfish because you know it's oh it's my it's my sandbox i get to do what i want eh, i mean it is but at the end of the day it's it's i it's my sandbox sure but it's for y'all 
Not for me. I'm happy when y'all happy and when y'all firing on. Like when when Kent isn't booking and he's excited to book a, a card. That's when I'm happy. When people on the VP and some funny shit happens or some cool shit happens. That's when I'm happy. When we pop it for rookie Salami Kane coming out to fucking get jobbed out by Horsey. That's when I'm happy. When fucking people are you know are cheering like shit. When stupid Valkyrie wins a match. That's when I'm happy. When you know people get little spots off. That's when I'm happy. But fighting day to day, that shit is dumb. I don't like for me is is I see no value in it so when you got people that do that or when you have people that are supposed to be at the top and it's their little playpen and they're just basically having to be like no you can't do that what do you you know it's dumb to me i just don't see the appeal i don't see the value and i think it's counterintuitive so that's where that kind of motherfucker had to deal with shit like that where you got to tell somebody like hey man can you at least have a decent match no you're fired okay well fuck fuck me man like see well, well go ahead i'm sorry uh, no, no. I, I just wanted to 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 keep the playing floor open because Dane has been in areas where that has happened, and he's also been in OCW in many different generations. He could probably speak to it a little bit more reliably than me, who who I I didn't watch re- I, I watched wrestling from 1998 to 2006, and then I was bullied out of watching it until 2018 when I was an adult. And my buddy AC Cobra, shout out to Terrence. <laughs> Fuck him. Uh, get, yeah, shout out to AC Cobra, Terrence, getting me into OCW. My my me, my my me a reason to live. Oh, give you yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the same guy. The same guy. When you asked him, he was like, "No, nah, man, I don't want to feel with you." And you got no, over the quicker okay. than him. Fuck that's him. A, that's that's okay. Fuck no, you, I, Terrence. I, I, I would have done the same thing, yeah, Terrence. Right. It's all, it's all good, TJ. Yeah. No, all so, love, all I, love, uh, big guy. Don't don't. don't, don't uh, but, but 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 Dane. But but seriously, but but like Dane's been around the whole time. So like somebody who's been there with the shit dicks that Jay is talking about versus OCW, like tell tell all the that don't really understand what OCW is, like how special it is. Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, going through that, I, you know, I, well, first, let me say, you know, when I was here before, you know, I, I was kind of like the the people who were just out for themselves um not completely but i was in that i was in that kind of realm but then when i uh when i went to when i went elsewhere and i went somewhere uh where the the like jay said the top guy was the one that always wanted to have everything he was it was his play it was his playpen or his sandbox or whatever you know that that really opened my eyes, you know, to what really matters to the com- community because I would, I would look at the roster and I look at look at all the people that were there and I'd be like, well, this just isn't fair to them. So I, I had to become almost an advocate for them, and I, I basically had to fight. There was one point I had to step down from my position just so that I could be on their side, so to speak, because the guy had gotten so so big headed, you know, trying to win this title, that title, whatever, that I had to fight against that. And I had to, you know, I had to kind of be with the roster as opposed to being against them like he was. But you mean basically coming, like like you can't here, av- you mean like you can't advocate because like oh well well why you not you're not with us because you fucking management like that's dumb because you do you could actually do more with a position of like of you know authority as opposed to being ah fuck it, I'm I'm with y'all like but I mean not to call you dumb but you get what I'm saying so I'm sorry continue right but like I who wants to be in that position you know that's when when you when you go somewhere to help out and then all you're doing is you're just you're just taking on a lot of weight you know to, what's the point you know so I stepped down and then things went the way they did and coming back here it's it's been refreshing because there's there's a big community of guys who uh, some of them don't compete some of them are strictly management some of them are strictly uh you know helping out here and there with with, part time whatever may come to task and it's it's nice because uh like seeing a place where for the most part everybody is together including staff everybody's working together it's it's really refreshing and i think that means a lot for more for the people that see this just in the discord chat 
and they don't really have full <laughs> So, so like somebody that's looking, like maybe a rookie is looking from the outside in, and they're seeing like rant, uh, whatever. Like you, you, you're here. Like the Discord has been shut off for how long? Like what, uh, 35, 40, 40 days, Jay? What do you mean shut off? How, how long? How long has the uh, applications have been shut off? Oh, you, you oh. shut that off like right after Dan came in because mm. stupid, uh, stupid, dumb shit came in and tried oh, to. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so uh, but basically, maybe a couple days, a couple days after Lucian. So, it's been, yeah, it's been maybe 30, thirty. Uh, it's been it's been more than thirty days. It's been a while. Yeah, a little, a little bit after thirty days, but like like you're you're here now. So even if you're looking at that shit, um, I I, can't, I have a weird perspective because when I came in, I was just like jerking off to everything OCW. <laughs> like I'm just fucking like every single thing I watched. I was like, ah, this is incredible! Wow. So like I don't know if other people are seeing it that yeah. way, but like if, no, if you're interested no, in this surprised. EFED thing, yeah. if you're interested in this EFED thing and you're here now, shit, man, you, you got there's nothing better out there for you. I mean, like I I would I, that's the thing I don't even want to like because I, I know you you beat you bang the drum, but I'm I'm thinking like because I was scrolling literally last night after I fucking put together the turmoil shit like all these hours. I'm scrolling through the YouTube. And it sounds like a circle jerk, but I'm scrolling through YouTube. And I'm like that's a that's just it just keeps going like yo it just keeps going and like like i'm like that's a lot of shit and it's only been that's only been like two years son if if that was from like jump street it would be you, you, you would you would get osteoarthritis just scrolling <laughs> like it because it just keeps going and go, it's like that's a lot of shit some good sometimes maybe good sometimes maybe shit but it's a lot it's a lot and it's just it just it's a lot and then the thing is it's consistent quality as well and I don't know. I just I always try to put myself in other people's shoes and try to understand understand things. And I know that, like I know for a fact, I'm not perfect in any capacity. And I know that I'm you know I sometimes I fuck up. And the thing is, is that I I at least to the best that I can try to have some semblance of account of accountability. In addition to that, and I'm again toot my own horn like doo doo doo. Um, I'm the only one on the site that is that tries to be a hundred percent fair, and I think even uh, Pew agree with me with that. Like, I whenever I whenever we argue, I'll always take who whoever is the the person who's supposed to be the, the the bad guy. I will take that guy's side in the sense that like, well, what would he think or what would she think to be in that position? You, you get what I'm saying? I always do that. It's just I don't know. I'm naturally a contrarian. But back to the point about being fair. If I don't like somebody. I'm not going to ban them. I'm not going to remove them because I feel like that that isn't fair. Now, if I don't like somebody and then they give me a reason to do that, I'm all for it. But if you don't give me a reason, I am not going to remove somebody. I, I don't think I've done that at all. Have I? If I've done that in the last, Jake, you would know. Have I done that recently? Have no, I? you you have been light in the fucking pants when wow. it comes to removing. If <laughs> no, no, but but it's 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 a compliment as well as kind of a backhanded insult because if you were that guy that was just jumping at the tail of anybody who like there's a lot of, there's a, there's a couple of people that are here now and some of which that are contributing that would have been kicked to the curb. Like since since I have been here, you have been very lenient on bullshit because the bullshit hasn't escalated to the point of DB. The, the, the only the only time I've ever seen you legitimately like super pissed was in March of 2018. And, and that was when all that went down. And I think that was when the bar was set at that point because of your experience being here you because i've listened to podcasts back in 27 yeah, 2007 patrons, yeah 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 you you were fucking just ruining people like <laughs> they, they were they were doing nothing they were doing shit that we do on a regular basis and you were fucking burying them for life and, and now i mean you've, you've kind of eased up a little bit so but you, uh, it's yeah. e it's easier for people but i understand like you're still on top of people uh, and and i think that attitude of having not just you but other veterans and other authoritative figures have kind of kept people in their place and 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 hasn't really allowed anybody even even like baby click stuff who like gather together and do their own thing they really haven't gained any traction they're just their own little fucking shit dick group on the side they're not doing anything like well, who cares so like shit, let them play shit dick. yeah like let them play dms until they are interested in ocw but but yeah yeah I, 
I'm 100% on board. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to support and be a Tony for whatever you I say. Kinda, I kind of wish you, you I could say, I kind of wish I could shut clone this down you. and I damn with you. I could, I could, I kind of <laughs> wish I could just clone, clone you like me twice. If I, if I could have like, like two of you, three, three Kents, two Nates, I think I'd be a happy camper. That's all we need for a CW. Yeah, you know, just a, just a little, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a and tiny. How many spiders? Bit. If I could just have this one killed, I'd be straight. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up, man. You, you, we need more than one spider. Come on. No, no, there's, there is only one spider. There's only one. Right. I'm, I'm waiting for his Habibi money, by the way, too. I'm waiting for his next donation. <laughs> if he doesn't have one, I'm gonna be very upset. I'm waiting for that United Arab United Arab Emirates. Oh my God! United Arab Emirates money. Is it Emirates? Uh, Emirates. You you know. really are a small guy. Like I didn't know you weren't able to. <laughs> what? What the fuck? What? what, what uh, you just went dead. What happened? Small guy. What? No, I said uh, you really are a small guy. I didn't realize you weren't able to. You're like uh, freaking out. Oh fuck you! Are you muted again? <laughs> I'm not, I know that's a joke, and I fuck you, young buck. So I think I think that dude. I think, what? Yeah, I think that about covers it. Um, yeah, man. So basically, everybody else stinks and we don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. There's a. Uh, uh, you're you're also at uh, at uh, at Rock now, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah shout shout right, out yeah. shout out to them. Yo, I, I was uh, I was talking to Johnny yesterday actually, and the dude the dude who runs that spot doesn't like me for something that happened on AIM that had nothing to do with him. Like I I, I must have said something on AIM that he thought uh, meant for him, and he hates me. I don't know why. I've tried to manifest with this motherfucker like three times and he just, he ain't fucking with me. Like, damn, man. All right. Fuck it. Whatever. Wait, wait, wait is, is this another fed? Uh, yeah, it's like uh, from the, uh, it's where uh, Cody, Cody came from. Cody Storm. Oh, oh yeah. wait, wait. So Dane's dual fetting? No, I, I said, I that was part of his thing. I was like, if I'm like, I told him you can do, you can do that because he has a character, Dane. I don't want Dane. So I was like, you make a, you're coming in brand new here. So yes, in, in this instance, he, I gave him the light to do that. He is allowed to do that. No one else okay, is. Uh, all right, Dane, you're back on my radar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Jokes. All jokes. Yeah. No, there's been, there's been a couple people who've, um, that they'll, they'll ask. Like, uh, when we had, um, What's his face? Uh, 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 shout out to Cacti when he had his joint, which he had to. He had Cactus to, uh, Gage. Yeah, it's still. We actually have the link for for G uh, GFW. Well, no, we had the link for grown folks, but it's there. Yeah, he had to, you know, shut it down because you know, fed fed stuff is not easy. Fed stuff, fed stuff is not easy when everything is on you. And even though everything is on me, I still have enough of a support system that it's not always on me. So, you know, like you with the commentary, like if I had to do commentary, like you do everything, I'd just fucking, nah, fuck you. But you're there to, to hold up. And then we have guys like, like Angus and, uh, and Jamie and Rex and fucking Salami with his horrible microphone and whoever, whoever else shows up. Uh, I mean, sometimes it's great. Sometimes they fuck up really good moments. Shout out to Rex and fucking Jamie. Oh, I can't don't, believe it. Don't, don't shout out to Rex oh. and Jamie. That's, that's all oh. on me. I'm, Oh, I'm taking all of that. <laughs> oh man, Hulk Hogan's oh, here. Who, oh, oh god. Mike, Mike, who's the third, the third man? man. <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucking you, Which side is you, he on? You, oh, oh who which side is he on? We cunt like you fucking assholes. <laughs> and ugh, I spit on you. I had to spend an hour and a half fixing that for my own fucking head cannon because you two fucked that up majorly, you garbage people yeah two two whole days of getting messages from jay like oh should we redo it should we gotta redo it right we should we redo it i don't want to be too petty should we redo it we're gonna redo it i need to get on the mo- yeah it. man like fuck because like i wouldn't like if fucking trance comes back i'm not gonna be like oh look it's jacob trance i can't <laughs> believe it i'm a fucking i'll, fu- I'll fucking start don't, don't, I'll, I'll do his song i'll sing his they, i'll sing his stupid not- song they, did, fucking, not sab- they like, did not sabotage if, that moment. That that was no, my no, fault. If fucking, I put them in a bad spot. If 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 Jacob Trance like shows up next season like at a random location and I'm doing commentary, I'll just start singing, I am your friend and you're not mine. Like, you know. <laughs> I'm you not know, gonna let you do that. Fucking, I'm not gonna let you yeah, do that. You ain't gonna come you can't stop me. And then like, you know, I if, will. if for some reason like, you know, Rex grows they hair again. Over you. Yeah, Rex grows hair again, I'll fucking make noise too. <laughs> You know, I, I should probably the supplements. Oh, 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 look, he has a two clip fade. How amazing. I can't believe Rex is coming to the oh, ring. Paul Pugh, oh, what is he doing? Hey, oh, welcome to Scum City Limits. Guys, back to the action. Uh, Fuck out of here. 
Good, what a close line even even, fu- even even fucking Angus, he's trying to get excited. And I like I actually like Angus on the mic. When you don't Angus hear is the man. when you don't hear tracks in the background, he'll have his weird little old eighties jokes, and I like them. They're terrible, but they're wonderful. Yeah. And this is witty. That's what he. That's yes, he he has thing. really good wit for a shithead. And then uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's so mean. I'm sorry. No, fuck him. <laughs> fuck him too. We're buried, everybody. Yeah, everybody's next. Everybody's getting. Everyone's getting the goddamn shovel, motherfuckers. Uh, and shout out to Salami too. I don't. I don't hate Salami either. Salami just needs a better microphone. It's a little bit yeah, better. better it's a little bit better. But now instead of sounding it like it's dinosaur, it's like it's up his ass. <laughs> I mean, well, he's his getting shit's actually broke right now. He, he's oh. supposed to be on the last two riots, but his, his shit's actually broken right now. So, for those of you that have not heard Nick on the last few broadcasts, oh. it's not it's not because he got the pink slip. It's because you know how uh, much how, mu- how much broken. how much was your microphone the one you got? My my microphone was sixty eight dollars oh, for yeah. this this quality that you're hearing plus wow. the all. Au- Plus the arm that connects to my table, sixty eight dollars is a great deal, man. It's the same. <laughs> this is a fun fact. It's literally the same Amazon order that us, uh, 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 CM Puma used. That's Jackson Montgomery. Shout like out I to wa- Jackson. I, yeah, I watched uh, some of Jackson Montgomery's videos, uh, especially the one where he announced that he was retiring from YouTube. He's literally using the exact same setup. Reti- why is he retiring from YouTube? I didn't know he was retiring. Oh no! This was a while ago, man. This this happened in like uh, February or March. Like he he, oh. I don't know. He said he said like family stuff. Like he doesn't do his universe thing anymore. He, he retired from YouTube. Is this break? Am I breaking news? I'm breaking news. I didn't. I didn't fucking know. I love, I, love, I, love, I, love, I love fucking. I love fucking Jack. I mean, Jackson gets shit every now and again for stuff, but like I like Jack. Yeah, he's Damn. gonna get shit from me. No, because Jackson ain't been shit since he since I've been here. Watch so. your mouth. Don't be don't be rude. No, listen, Damn. listen. I I give Dana fair shot uh, since i've been here he's been he's been mostly good to me i'm gonna give jackson a fair shot he's been a dick since i've been here so fuck him wow <laughs> that's that's great okay well then everyone's being buried uh so i was i was gonna buy nick a microphone but i'm not spending 60 bucks on a fucking stranger rookie uh <laughs> so i'll Nick's figure a good egg. i'll figure something out but uh in the meantime so um yeah i guess that's gonna do it for us this was uh you know the Jake and the Jake and Jay show because fucking Dana said shit, but yeah, I fucked up. So sorry about that. That you know, it's to how the cookie crumbles. Do you have any closing thoughts? Anything you want to add? Any questions you have for either of us? I, I tried, Dane. He's very wordy. Uh no, man. I, I appreciate you guys having me on. This is a uh, hopefully this is a, a turn of the page, so to speak. Yeah, welcome back to the fucking show. Right? You know, so you have no questions? You sure? This is your one. You can you can ask. That's fine. <laughs> This is your platform to rant, rave, yeah, and bitch your and you, you, you really oh, got well, carte blanche. <laughs> you got fucking well, carte. I mean, going back to what we were talking about earlier, like you not having any desire to compete, you know, so to speak, in the EFED scene. Um, like what? I, I know you spoke about, you know, seeing other people get their shine and whatnot, but what? what's what's been like how how do you keep how do you keep going like just booking and doing all the well, what i what i would see is mundane work uh good question spite hate um basically uh, without ocw i would have to do something else and then if i don't do ocw the voices start getting louder and louder and louder and that's not a good thing so i do this so the voices get really really low because i'm busy doing other shit because on top of work this and laying with really fat unattractive women uh it keeps me you know busy so that's why and as far as mundane stuff goes it's just part it basically it's part of the routine you have to you gotta just you gotta grind so if you want to go anywhere you gotta do what you gotta do like if i if i want to get lazy then what happens is i was lazy in two in 20 in 20 2009 i was lazy and ocw suffered in 20 like 10 14 yeah no actually it was 15 uh i wasn't it wasn't the game the game the game was 15 but it was 2014 yeah yeah you get it so (laughs) during that time and even then i switched i pivoted i did something else like podcasts and stuff but um yeah that's it's just basically a lot of times it's spite and it's I like I'll see other shit and I'm like, well, I can do that. And then I have to try to do it and then I'll fail. But I don't care. I just keep doing it anyway. I just I'm, I'm wired in a weird way, I think. And I just I want things to be a certain way. So that's the other, that's the other motivating factor. But I honest, honestly, it really just kind of boils down to to spite, because I remember when I started OCW, right? 
these motherfuckers <laughs> on the IGM boards was like, this is stupid. You're never going to succeed. This is dumb, whatever. And then when we started going about maybe two or three weeks afterwards, and there was a lot of members, hey, can I join? Fuck you. What the fuck? What? Excuse me? <clears throat> so, you know, and then somebody had the nerve to be like, oh, you know, this is going to this is gonna shut down super quick. And, like, I just keep that in the <clears throat> back of my head, like, because then it's, like, proving them right, even though it's 15 years later. So they probably won the end. They're probably smart because they're doing other things, and I'm still doing this. But um, the thing is, like I'll get messages from people that they appreciate this place because it's like you know hobby slash therapy da 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 da. So that kind of also helps with the motivation because I I like I feel like that I'm tied to this also kind of like I'm a little forced like I if I take away their hobby then it's bad for them which kind of sucks but that kind of also helps me like I like giving people that option and having people be happy that this place exists because it makes them happy. And by proxy, I'm like, good. If, if if someone's happy with something I'm doing that that helps, you know, fill some kind of weird thing with them, then I'm I'm enthused about it. Now, if you're here and you ain't doing shit, please leave. Make more space for people who you know can do stuff. Because we at this point with cards and stuff, we have we we don't have dead weight, but you know. Cards no, we are... have dead weight. No, I'm booking now. I, yeah. I, I, no, 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 no. We have dead weight. I I have to the roster every week and i'm seeing people who don't do shit and i'm not able to book you and it's unfair to everybody on the entire roster kent's not going to tell you because he's a fucking golden hearted gentleman but listen to me like i'm newer and my and my soul listen, hasn't been tainted to, yet to me yes my, my, like if y'all ain't gonna do nothing if y'all just gonna sit in the dm chat and poke each other with your peckers get the fuck out of here and go play in some sim fed like that, we, we don't want you that's the most kentucky shit i've ever heard play with your peckers. i'm sorry yeah I, I, I love everybody here you, but you went, seriously you went back like, to make, make a better effort you went back to make a better Park effort that one. i did sometimes i do it's 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 involuntary it's fine uh any other questions dane well so jake um so uh i haven't uh i haven't really been here long enough or been back long enough to know um your history but i kind of want to know like what brought you what brought you to ocw and and uh i guess uh you know why the just why i guess yeah, why is a good question. It's something I ask myself every day. Ah, uh, fuck <laughs> no, but seriously, I've I've been a part of online communities since forever. Eh, not forever, but since since I've become an adult, which is not too long ago. Uh, OCW, I have been aware of since probably 2013, which is when my good buddy AC Cobra joined OCW. AC Cobra, my buddy TJ uh terrence um i've known him for six years six plus years we we share another community together the red zone shout out red zone madden community uh nba 2k community um yeah (laughs) so so he he he's been telling me to get in this from day one but like since he's been in here i was like a kid i was like 17 when i first joined red zone he he was telling me about this so he he bragged about this forever so anybody that questions ac cobra's loyalty to ocw i'm always going to fight against you because he may not be the most active in in the discord or whatever but that man has been preaching this shit to me for five years plus um of uh, last year uh february of 2018 i was i remember this funny story i was sitting on the toilet and i was like all right fuck it i'm gonna take a look at this i took a look at it he messaged me a week later and said because i do i have i've been doing uh commentary for our madden leagues like i do the play-by-play for our madden leagues you know uh, not surprisingly that i do commentary in ocw now <clears throat> so I, I I do commentary for a Madden League. So he's like, hey, can you do commentary? I'm doing a big comeback in OCW. Uh, AC Cobra left OCW in season 12. He came back in season 13. Uh, he went to like, it was like a CM Punk thing where he went to go fight in UFC and he came back. So I did commentary over a match between him and Blade Harris, which was this big like rookie MMA guy that he fought against in, in uh 
and RZFC, which was our uh, our Red Zone UFC league at the time. So I did commentary, and while I was doing commentary, which is still on YouTube, by the way, on on the OCW Fed channel, it's me before I was even in OCW doing commentary for AC Cobra's like oh, MMA thing. Right. Yeah, so. So I did that, and then um, I was like, all right, fuck it. So I sat on the toilet, and then for an entire weekend, I watched all OCW stuff. Like, I was watching matches, reading RPs. Like, I went back, and it just, like, something clicked in my brain. All of the love I had from, like, 98 to 2005, like I said, for wrestling, it just, like, fell back into my lap. The number one influence for me getting back in here past AC Cobra was Paul Pugh, which is why I'm the mark that I am today (laughs) was him being the number one. Like he was like the fucking first thing I saw from him was him and him and Tiberius Dupree in that light heavyweight title. man. Like just God damn it. That was incredible. So him, Tibby, Cassidy Hayes was a huge influence. Uh, There's like um, uh, uh, Tobin Frost that, that like I. That era, like last year, um, there's a lot of other people who I enjoyed, like uh, uh, that that vampire group or whatever. I enjoyed them a lot. Uh, Parker, who was Blackbeard at the time, I enjoyed him a ton. Uh, so that was just me like binging OCW for three days straight. And then I joined in as my own character. And another fun story that you may not know, Dane, is I didn't want to be known as AC Cobra's buddy. So I actually created a new gamer tag and and signed up to OCW Fed as um, Joey. Um, Joey. Yeah, yeah. I signed up as Joey. So I was I was just I was this guy named Joey. I was still Quartz, but like my handler, I, I kept secret. And I would play PUBG with Cass, and I like did voice chats with Jay and Kent, and I would do this smoker's voice, and it's literally not that much different than my real voice, but I would just do this. <laughs> and and it, it was like dumbest shit ever. But I, I actually played PUBG with Terra with AC Cobra one time with Cass. Me, it was me, Cass, uh, Spider, and AC Cobra. And I'm like in I've known this guy for five years. I'm in this party chat with AC Cobra. I'm like, hey, hey, RZ, we have the same gamer tag. What like we're both in red zone. His is RZ Cave, mine is RZ Jake. And I'm like, I, I'm on my other gamer tag, of course. So I'm like, hey RZ, do you need any five five six? He's like he's he's like a super soft spoken guy. He's like, nah, man, I'm good, I'm good, baby. So like he's like <laughs> so so like he just didn't even recognize me. And it's like one of the best moments in my OCW career is that I like did the smoker's voice. He didn't notice me. One day when because when I first joined, Cass was like my guy. That's why he's my Fasha in OCW. He he took me in and he like led. He he he's the one. He's the reason that I, I'm here today. Um, so we like played PUBG all the time. One day in like May of 2018 this is like three months into my my um reign as a rookie in ocw i just stopped i was like we were in a voice chat and i was like cat i'm like cass i can't do this anymore this is hurting my throat i'm my name's not joey i'm jake nice to meet you he just he like left the party he's like stopped he's like he's like i don't know what's going on so so then i so then i i I, so then i made that gif if when the bot comes back up go into the ocw main chat and do uh, exclamation point quartz it's me like i made a gif of myself pulling the quartz uh face off and it's me and it's like i use that to expose myself to ac cobra it was like it was a ama- it was an amazing moment but that's that's basically what it was it was it was a it was a combination of ac cobra and ocw's excellence bringing me back into the wrestling fold and then over time like even when i started i was like constantly in jay's dms like how can i help what do you want me to do and jay big mistake being, yeah, Jay being what he is, he's like, nah, fuck you, rookie. He's like, nah, bleh. So I just fuck started. You, rookie. Yeah, and he should, and he should have. Because I, I know, knowing what I know now, getting in the rookie's DMs and shit, I know yep. he should have He should have done that. I so wanna, I, I want to run an OCW show. Uh, I, just tell me what you need me to do. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't not you, that. Not you. <laughs> this is what I would get from people. They, no, would, they would say right, shit right. like that. They would just, yeah. they would do dumb shit like, hey, man. Hey, look! Yeah. I want to be your Ring of Honor. Fuck you! Go away! Leave me alone. I, 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 I know I'm rambling to your question, but basically that's what it was. And then, like, he had a lot of things that we didn't have when I started, which was like the hype videos, the commentary, like all this stuff. So I, I got with Court, and I was like, uh, Court actually came to me. He's like, Hey, you want to do some commentary? You have experience. You want to do this? I was like, Yeah, let's do it. Um, and then I started doing the hype videos, which we've had for every single pay per view since the beginning of the season now. 
so I started doing things that Jay didn't have, so I didn't have to ask him what to do. And then eventually it just became me helping Jay with various things. And he really hasn't, other than the turmoil booking, he really hasn't asked me to do anything. It's just been my things that have like added on to OCW. And, and, and I'm at this point, the number one toady and I'm going to fucking sell my soul for anything that is OCW. Yeah, we, um, we need, we need at least one of those. It's, it's nice. Um, yeah. I remember, it's been weird. I remember the FP, I still remember the FPR test with, uh, because Kent was, we that's when we would have FPR I do too. testing. I do too. Uh, we basically we would, te- we would have FPR tests for rookie. So you, before you would get booked, you have FPR tests. But of course that, you know, that went away because it requires actual work. And it's pain. It's pain the ass. I tested dot green. Uh, and, in the most polite way possible, I was like, please stop fighting Thirsty. Because he was yeah. so fucking aggressive. And I was like, you. He, he just ran. He just did running attacks. Every yeah. I, I was like, I was like, oh, God. I was just like rubbing my temples, trying to, trying to not go, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> and, and he's the OCW champion. But like, that fucking testing, I told, I told him, I was like, I think you got a B minus or a C plus or C plus. I'm like, you just, I mean, if you don't rush a lot, if you don't, play like a fucking psycho you should be fine and he's the OCW champion now he's a wonderful egg but you know that first test I was like I hate this motherfucker I hate him so much and and look at look at him now but yeah uh uh Jake's FPR test I wanted up I saw Kent in the thing I was like oh let me just go see what's up and I I hear him laughing like which is rare you I rarely hear uh Dupree laugh so he's laughing and and having a conversation like what's going on I'm excited and then I hear this 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 fucking giant voice and then, like, he's talking and he's fighting Dupree. And I'm like, he knows stuff. I'm like, how the fuck do you know what's going on? And he's like, oh, no, I'm a fan. I'm like, you fucking liar. What are you, what are you, what are you trying to do? You trying to usurp, motherfucker? Like, what? He's like, yeah, no, he thought no. I was an alt. Yeah, I thought they you thought was an alt. I'm like, who's alt are you, bro? Who's alt? He's like, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not an alt. I'm like, nah, nah, stop fucking around. Who, who are you, son? This is, this is, FPR test is too good. You're too, you're too, like, personable. Nah, this is bullshit. What's going on? I don't like, I don't trust this. He's like, well, I'm a, I'm like, I'm AC Cobra's friend, and and then he tells the story about AC Cobra. It's like about him telling you, nah, man. And I was like, all right, well, that makes sense. Fuck it. And then you know, here we are. So it worked out. I appreciate you, Jake. You all right. You just you know, a little white for me. I I, I, I ain't lie to you. I ain't lie to you. I told you and Kent both, like when you were asking me why I know about bumping and stuff. I was like, I did my fucking research. I spent the whole yeah, weekend said, I did, I, watching I did content. I'm like, yeah, so like, was no, like, how do you know like, content? No. You're like, you're like, yeah, you're like, how do you know content? <laughs> How do you know con- like? How do you know about content? Why do you know who Natoli Joe is? What? What? Who are you? Get out of here! Yeah. How do you know con- that, that, cause you, That's the simplest thing. Like, if you know stuff, like if you know basic stuff in OCW, people like appreciate you. Like we, we like I'll have DM people who try to join. I'm gonna actually put it on Twitter. People want to join OCW, and I'm like, you know what? You want to join? That's fine. No, know, know what's going on. That's it. That's all I gotta tell you. If you know what's going on and you're not just about yourself, then you can come on. And if not, go fuck yourself. Because everybody wants to come in and be like, "Oh, look at my stuff. Fuck you. Look at everybody else's stuff." So yeah, yeah you're a rookie. Yeah, right. So that's gonna do it with us. We we've gone quite a bit of time. Uh, thank you, Dane, for being patient with us. And uh, hopefully, this was informative. If not, fuck you. Don't care. Try try our best. You miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take. Jake, as always, thank you for showing up. Uh, yeah, man, you you made commentary really fun. It's I was thinking about it like um earlier on the ride home. I'm like, motherfucker, we like we like a uh, uh, King and Lola kind of. Oh, like we're like discount great value King and Lola. I think <laughs> it's fun. That shit is fun. Like I like I, I think about it. I, like I look forward to it. So which is weird. Cause I look forward to shit in OCW. <laughs> I don't look forward to this work. I hate it. So it's like I look I look forward to commentary stuff. So so that's good. Um and that's gonna do it for us. So thank you for your time. Thank you for everything. And we will see you when we go around. Next podcast when we have, we'll probably do QA with whoever the fuck is here. If not, speaking of uh, QA, um, because patrons and I wanna be more uh showing gratitude, I will be starting to have patrons mm-hmm. on for one on one podcast to see what the fuck happens. That should be fun. I wanna have uh, Ricky. It's just fucking like 15 minutes of, of me questioning Ricky and going, what are you talking about, sensation? Can't wait. <laughs> it's going to be great. So thank you so much. And we will see you next go round. Peace be love to you, boy.